welcome hope you're having a wonderful day so today's video y'all is another mobile home makeover i am so excited for this video so i have been wanting to work on this project for some time now y'all and i just haven't gotten around to it we've been working on so many different makeovers so today's the day i am so excited and i'm what i'm also excited about y'all is this video is actually a collab so i am collabing with my friend courtney from till dust do us part if you are not subscribed to our channel i will have everything linked in the description box so after you get done watching mine you can go and watch her video as well so she is my friend here on youtube and we talk all the time when it comes to our makeovers and we decided to do a collab because we were doing the same makeover and i thought that would be cool you know why not we've seen other youtubers collab on different videos i've never seen one on a collab on a uh, makeover before so we thought that was cool but anyways y'all i'm so excited to get started so today we are working on framing in the um entryway to the kitchen as well as going into the bathroom so anyways y'all i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what that looks like so if y'all are ready let's get to it so this is the living room before i get started and we are going to be framing in the entryway into the kitchen and this little walkway to the bathroom as well and put up some faux beams. I am so excited. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is start working on the wood. I am going ahead and sanding it down a little bit. But first I am going to be distressing this wood, y'all. I'm pretty much beating up the wood and making it all like a barn wood i want it all rustic i want it to look like it was old and it's been through a lot pretty much as you can see this is what i want it to look like i tried to get the best view for you as i was doing it but it was really sunny so i was trying my best but i am just going at it beating up the wood really really good as you can see i have a pretty good pile of wood right there so this took a very, very long time to do, y'all, because that was what I was doing. So my husband did the other stuff, and I worked on the stuff that I was able to do. And I beat up the wood, I sanded it down, I stained it, all of that before we got started. If you are here from Courtney's channel, hi, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy today's video. And if you do enjoy the um, makeover videos, and I also post tons of cleaning and homemaking motivation, I would love for you to consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family. I would love to have you here with me. Um, I just wanted to say that really quick because I forgot to say that in my intro. And I really hope y'all enjoy this video and you get inspired to go and transform a part in your home and put your own touches on it here on my channel you will find that I do that with everything <laughs> and I mean everything so as you can see I am just just going to keep hacking away at this wood getting it all beat up as you can see I have a pretty big pile to work through so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step maybe it was fate or a part of So now we are, or my husband is, putting up the um, the inside of the beam <laughs> pretty much. So he had to frame it out because we are going to be putting some double barn doors over this in the future. Um, we were thinking next weekend, but we need a break from the makeovers right now. So after this makeover, we just need a break. Um, but anyways, y'all, he is going to put this up. And yes, he did make it to fit this tight because he wanted to make sure it was going to be nice and secure. And he's just going to screw this frame into the studs up there. And he's going to... Um, finish building this and then I guess close it in like box it out so it will look like a beam but yeah y'all so I'm gonna just let y'all continue watching Thank God that you said hi, cause I was way too shy what would have happened if you just had passed me by the So if you know me, I love all things rustic. The more rustic, the more, I don't know, 
less cookie cutter it is, the better it is in my book, if that makes sense. So we wanted to try out the burning technique. So the, the stain that we chose, it's more of like a medium to dark stain. So it did show up a little bit, but this is a great technique if you're staining something light because if the stain's too dark, it's really pointless. So we could have done without having to do that, but it did bring out a few spots in the wood as well. Um, but I was kind of bummed, y'all. So the dark walnut stain is the stain that I've used in my single wide, and I continue to use that here as well. I feel like it is a beautiful warm tone and has those red tones in there as well. But on this wood, it was so dark. It was not like I was hoping it was going to be. So I was like, what are we going to do? So we do end up doing something to make it look a little more red. Like here on camera, it does look um, like it has some of those red tones. But I guess outside, um, inside, y'all, it just looks so dark so we had to um, get creative but we ended up making it work and I just love all of those marks on there y'all look how beautiful it looks we want it to look like old barn wood and yeah I think we definitely achieved that so now as you can see I am going to be continue working on the wood my husband is going to be burning while I'm staining this was a lot of teamwork, <laughs> a lot of work, y'all. Do you like our little um, table setup? <laughs> so this is like our little project station where we get to do our woodworking until my husband's shop gets filled. So, but yeah, anyways, y'all look at all of that wood. Oh my goodness. So, so pretty. I only um, stained them. I have not sealed them. But look how gorgeous that looks. So moving on now, my husband's going to start putting um, the boards onto the beam now. Alright y'all, so we realized that the wood is just too dark in the house, like all of the red tones was not showing up. I don't know why on camera it shows, but it, it was so dark y'all. So my husband said, let's just go ahead and start staining, I mean sanding it so we can have some of the lighter pieces showing through. We started, he started doing that and it looked really good, so we worked at it and we did that and um, even though it wasn't the red tone that I wanted, it still looked a lot better than just being dark. So went ahead and went with it and I realized I had a stain, um, and that I used on my dining table that had like the red tones in it. And I decided to go ahead and put that over the, over it. And that took in the spots that was, um, sanded and y'all, it looked so, so good. I absolutely love it how it all turned out. So even though it wasn't the right color to begin with, the end, pro the end product is exactly what I was wanting. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along, I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next This or that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night I'm drinking well I'm by an open fire Make love a fire This or that 
So now that my husband put up all of the um, beams and the columns, it is time to go ahead and start on the arches, I guess what they're called for the beams that's going to go on top. And he's just cutting the wood right now. And then we are going to go ahead and get started. So it is my turn to start beating up some wood and sanding and dis distressing it as well as staining it and getting it all ready to go up on the wall. Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. So now I'm just doing a little bit of touch up. So of course we, um, you know, I needed to go ahead and paint this because we made a mistake there and we fixed it. So fresh coat of paint on top of this trim piece goes on. And then also on the side by one of the um, columns there, um, I need to touch up the sage green paint as well because we um, did something there and we needed to go ahead and um, caulk that so I'm gonna go ahead and just use a teeny tiny brush and just do that little area and let that dry But yeah, y'all I am loving this so far It is looking so 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 good So we do plan on putting some double barn doors over the um, kitchen entry But we are gonna hold off on that for a little bit because we need a break from makeovers We have been going 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 especially this project y'all after this one. We definitely need a break <laughs> um, But I did finish painting and now I'm going to be sealing the columns I'm just using my poly acrylic and I'm just going over the beams and sealing it really really good So 
So now I'm going to hang up my picture. I did have this on the wall, but we end up putting a column there. So I decided to go ahead and move it here. Even if we put the barn doors up, I still feel like it will um, fit, like the barn doors will fit over it. So let me refresh your memory and show you what it looked like before we got started. And I think it looks so, so different now. So this is what it looks like now. That is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Also, if you're here from Courtney's channel, don't forget to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here with me. And thank you so much for everybody taking time out of your day to watch this video. All right. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Bye, y'all. All those little moments, the